Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. All tasks have some type of constraint applied to them. A constraint is simply a scheduling rule that determines the start or end time of a task or otherwise controls the scheduling and rescheduling that is available for that task. Constraints allow the scheduling engine within Microsoft Project to reschedule tasks as needed within a project file. By default, Microsoft Project creates tasks with flexible constraints to allow for maximum flexibility in rescheduling. However, you can set the constraints for a task, as desired, to produce semi-flexible and inflexible constraints when needed. In Microsoft Project, the available task constraints are grouped into three main groupings, flexible constraints, semi-flexible constraints, and inflexible constraints. Flexible constraints, which are used for task scheduling by default, allow for tasks to be scheduled without any date restrictive limitations, with the exception being the starting or ending dates of the predecessor and successor tasks within the project file. When you use a constraint type such as as soon as possible, you are using a flexible constraint. You can also create semi-flexible constraints, which allow for task scheduling within a date boundary that you choose. For example, setting a start no earlier than constraint will allow your task to be scheduled any time after a specified date has passed. This is an example of using a semi-flexible constraint. You can also create inflexible constraints. Using inflexible constraints prevents the rescheduling of the task. For example, using the must start on constraint forces a task to begin on the date specified. When you specify an inflexible constraint, the task will never be automatically rescheduled for any reason. In Microsoft Project, you can set the task constraints within the task information dialog box on the Advanced tab by simply using the Constraint Type drop-down. You can also use the Constraint Date drop-down if needed. When you're finished, simply click the OK button to save the task. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.